The world is less efficient. We pay for it with our water. We pay for it with our heat. We sell it by the gallon. Much that once was cheap is lost, or none who then lived conserved it. Is it secret? Is it safe? Few who can. In the common tongue, it says, One aerator to sap them all, one aerator to drain them, one aerator to cost them more, and in the drought, find them. We are all bound to this fate, this one doom. Bring forth the aerator. So it's true, Al Gore's bane has been found. So be it. You shall be the Association of the Aerator. beyond any of you. Run. You shall not pass! The association is breaking. It has already begun. One by one, it will deplete them all. If you ask it of me, I will give you the high flow faucet aerator. I wish the aerator had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such energy bills, but that is not for them to decide. All you have to decide is how to conserve the energy that is given to you. Go back! I'm going alone! Of course you are! And I'm going with you! You remember home? It'll be spring soon. We can turn down the central heating and open the windows to regulate the temperature. And our weather stripping will keep out the bugs attracted to our pesticide breed organic garden. Do you remember the taste of organic produce? No. 
can't recall the taste of organic produce. Not the feel, the efficient heating. There's nothing, no co-op between me and the utility bill. I can see it with my waking eyes. Then let us be rid of it, once and for all. Come on, I can't carry the high flow faucet aerator for you, but I can carry you. Come on. Thus, the age of wasteful water usage came to an end. With the destruction of the high-flow faucet aerator, all the works that it had wrought on the earth diminished and faded from history, leaving only a world free from seasonal droughts and oppressive utility charges. And our heroes, with their tasks accomplished and their association ended, settled down to enjoy the money they saved with conservation.